Welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur. I am scheduled to go see a lady about a thing. So let's do that. <laughs> to figure out why she commissioned this guy to take a letter yes. somewhere. And then paid someone else to throw it in a ditch. Which is super suspicious, but I'm not sure why I want to be involved. In fact, I know I don't want to be involved, but yes. I'm doing it anyway. So let's go down here to the lower area. This reminds me of like in Dragon Age when you're when you've got the two different levels of dwarf society. That's what this reminds me of. Um, I'm going around the edge. What? It's just that neither of these areas seems to be any richer than the other. So it's just like people doing their thing. Could I have gone downstairs in the Basilica Nostra and gotten to the same area? Or was I not in the Basilica Nostra? Either way, I'm here now. Mm. Hi. You... I have heard that someone was helping my subordinate, Corden. It seems he has lost a very, very important letter. While I applaud your diligence in tracking this to me, I'm sad to say that Corden's error is grievous. He will be punished for losing the letter. How about I kill you right here? There's like no one around. Uh, yourself? While my background lays in the study of magical acuity contextualized by race, somehow I ended up being a basilica liaison to the Domus concerning Faye and Alfar. Alright, uh, tell me about this place. It is the product of centuries of learning. Here we distill the experiences of our race into axioms, knowledge that future generations may live by. You guys are uh, regimented in a very strange way. Tell me about the city. The scholars first found this crater brimming with strange potential. In studying the area, more equipment than people came until a city was born. Cool. Uh, why'd you request this letter? That is a half truth. I requested the letter of Corden through, but it was not my idea. That came from a higher source. The Templars have reached a tentative quorum regarding our stance in the war, but a cautious few requested I draft this letter. A Templar must be obeyed. But what can be done when they give conflicting orders? So I had the letter written, and Corden lost it. All right, uh, I'm just gonna say what everyone's thinking. Corden will not have me to fear. We will continue to employ him in the Domus, but his career will remain there forever. I must say this is unexpectedly prudent of you. I applaud your ability to set aside any convictions that might have clouded your foresight. I don't like what you just did. I see. I don't. Why can't I stab you? Can I stab you? I guess not. Can I just steal shit from you? <laughs> I don't want to unlock them, though. Alright. I'm just leaving. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I have to go tell Corden that he'll never be, like, high courier? Is that really such a bad thing? You'll never be high courier, Corden. Yes. Sorry to burst your bubble. I don't know if you were going for a higher job placement, but it's never going to happen because your boss is a bitch. Bye. The Isles. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in you, upper part of Odessa. Yes. No. No. I'm going the wrong way. Yes. All right, it is down here and over. No, this is the Domus Politica and that's the Basilica Nostra. I was getting confused. All right, is he ready to jump off of something high? Is that why he's not in his usual place? And someone up here has a quest for me, I was not aware. Um, did you die? What happened? 
I... I have received no word of change from the Isles. Scholar Erencourt has made it clear that the Basilica is disappointed in, uh, my error. I have been buried in more work since then. I'm sorry, stranger, but I cannot continue. Here is your reward, and now we have work to do. I guess I have to say this, but I feel like shit for putting him in that position. Of course, of course. I'm indebted to you. This is the least I could do. The order to set you in Sandstone Villa came from Templar Joriel. He's the one interested in you, and she's in the forum. If you wish to converse with her, we should go quickly. No one knows how long a Templar may remain in one place. I feel like I, I knew that Fair already. Enough. Sorry, man. Why do you have a question mark? Yes? I have much to do after you help me with my recent incident. What are you here for? Um... According to several writs that have passed my desk, she will be in the Basilica Nostra on business. Joriel is an extremely busy figure in this city. If you wish a word with her, now is the time to have it. All right. Fair enough. That didn't get rid of your question mark, but I'll leave it for now. Let's go see what this other person has for me. Upstairs? Upstairs, you say? I thought I was accusing her when I picked that dialogue option, not damning him, or I wouldn't have picked it. Hi. Hmm. I do not know how it happened, but here we are. How astute of you to make it to this point. I might have been surprised to be uncovered so quickly, but Odessa is a city of whispers. I'm almost shocked it took this long for us to meet. Haven't we met before? Can we talk about you? I've been trying to rout out elements of our leadership whose ambitions supersede the will of our people. I only hope I haven't failed. All right, tell me about Octien. Where'd you put him? With Octien indisposed, there is much work for me to do. Too long has he operated outside of the knowledge of the Forum. We have all his creations under strict scrutiny now, thanks in part to you. Cool. Um, what are the observers? I... I have been the one that has orchestrated your observation. There was much to gain, and relatively little to lose. You must understand, I meant no harm. I guess... I guess so. I'm still gonna ask this question, though. The Praetorians have a saying. An army is but a single being, and every soldier is a weapon it wields. If every common soldier is a weapon, what of you? Certainly a rare commodity in these contested times, if not a kingmaker. Your presence here is too tempting for some of my colleagues, so I observe you to observe them. That is the game we Templars must play. Do you even have kings? Um, who are you suspicious of? A simple enough question. The answer is unfortunately complicated. I speak with the authority of a Templar. It is enough to make my suspicions law, if need be. So I must remain silent, if I wish to learn what I need. Uh, so this isn't really about me? Yes and no. You wield a power new and greater than many are capable of understanding, and to unforeseen repercussions. I worry of that. But greater still is our response to this power, how we approach it and how we attempt to understand it. This city, our race, is built on the promise of plans reaching fruition, and as convicted as some are, others might be distracted by you. I am distracting. Wink wonk. Uh, can I do anything to help? No. To speak frankly, I had intended this observation to be conducted with your awareness. You were never meant to know that someone was watching you, it could make my quarry suspicious. It is a frustrating turn of events. But how did you come here? Who exposed this to you in the first place? That was the most awkward, wrong line reading ever. She said it was supposed to be done with my knowledge, and the caption said without, and everything she said besides that implied without. Weird. Um... <laughs> one of your own, fool. Okay, Brute and the bodyguard you hired. Brute? Bodyguard? 
I never hired any, ugh, by a scene. I've been outmaneuvered. Whoever hired Bruton likely knew you would be watched and knows you're meeting with me. You have to find Bruton. Whoever he's working for, they can't have good plans for you or me. I uh, can't remember who Bruton is, but why must we stop Bruton? We've been had. I gave you Sandstone Villa, hoping to use it to uncover the Templars who have been plotting to exploit you for war. But in doing so, my quarry uses their agent Bruton to trace me through you. They'll have both of our heads if we don't stop them. Cool, I'll kill them all. Bye. Confront Bruton. I got this. I got this. There's another person with a quest for me, though. I love quests. I don't think I'm the right on the right floor for it, but that's okay. Um, I'll be back to talk to Joriel. So we are leaving the area and going to find Bruton to murder him and his buds. I love murder. Yes. All right, so this is the way. This is also the way. Paranoia is the way to live your life from day to day, so leave your doubts and your fears Hello? behind. They're in my house. <laughs> Don't be afraid at all. I'm gonna kill you, Bruton. How do you like them apples? Well, I've learned enough about your doings to know when I've been found out. Took you long enough. When I was told I'd be targeting a man who came back from the dead, I thought I heard wrong. But then I learned about the Well of Souls. As soon as Juriel's out of the way, my employers will make the well theirs. And all of the power that comes with it. Oh yeah, sure. I don't think so, Half Pint. Well, diplomacy has failed. Guess me and the boys get to play our trade a little early. I'll only rough you up a little bit. My employer wants you plenty alive for the vivisection. Yeah. Vivisect you in a minute. Let's do this, Bruton. What? I'm not gonna let up on your ass. Of course, I just did because I'm fighting your henchman instead now because the targeting in this game is just awesome. Okay, come here, hench. Oh, I killed him. Maybe that's why. Sorry, henches. Speak with Joriel. I want everything you've got on you so I can sell it. All right, Joriel is outside, I think. She's not in here. Well, maybe I can get there from here. Or maybe this is just all a big political game of asses. The game of asses. Doot, 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 doot. Here I come. I need to get my sword fixed. But I've always been really shit at finding places to fix swords. All right. I'm going this way, up and around, what? in and out, up and down, in your face, on the floor, beat it. What? What? Alright, we are here at the Domus Politica, we are going upstairs to see Joriel yet again, yes. past this Praetorian, who always has a styling hat on. Joriel, well, the, the exclamation point's in her room now, so maybe I can just get that if she's not going to be standing there with a knife. I'll kill her, too. I don't care. Let's kill everyone in the town. All right, so that's who I need the quest from. Should I do him first? Yeah, let's do him first. Hey. Yeah, this won't do. This won't do at all. Prophets haven't been up since... Hmm? Oh, yeah, excuse me. You're the courier, yes? Good. You're early. We can begin at once. Yeah, I'm a courier. Tell me about the walls. The walls are the center of Odessa's labors. Every gnome gladly dedicates his or her life to the furthering of our great civilization. Cool. A um, modus mining? Oh, privately controlled. We're significant enough to be integrated into several municipal services. The bursas finances our expeditions now. All right, tell me about you. I am the head clerk of Modus Mining's home office. So important. The bursas even gave me a chest in their vault. Yay! Tell me about the city. Many have sought shelter from war within our walls. We have offered what we can to these outsiders who built the city in exchange. And what are we starting? Give me my quest. Why, the delivery to the Mortis Mining Branch Office in the Hollowlands. 
Now it seems we've uh, misplaced our copy. So you'll have to reclaim the handbook from our old headquarters in Apotir. You are demanding as hell. Consider it done. Oh, good. You should go to the old motors mining offices in Apotir. Once you've found the book, bring it to a pool vire. A pool vire? Fine. All right, Joriel, I did some you've, things. You've gotten to Bruton then. This was not the outcome I had anticipated. That you were able to deal with it is gratifying. Killing Bruton should send a message to his masters to stop their plans. I heard what he said about my death. It seems I am indebted. With any luck, the serpent will not bite without its fangs. Our business can be concluded. How did you hear what he said? All right, what happens now? You have proven capable beyond measure. As a reward, I give you the deed to Sandstone Villa. It is now yours completely. If you wish, you may make improvements to it at the Grand Bursas. Now there is much I must attend to. I am off. <laughs> I own more property. Yippee ki yay. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to leave this episode of Amalur. I have like three houses now. I'm just the most badass Duke Felipe in the entire land. <laughs> and I will see you next time.